you know, this really does compare very favorably to filling up an ICE car, but without all the environmental side effects. We're really good in terms of range. We're really good in terms of battery technology, but the one last sticking point for a lot of people is charging. A lot of ICE drivers are not convinced to switch to EVs unless it can charge as quick as a petrol car. Now, that technology is here, and we're at GAC, one of their subsidiary companies called GBT, Greater Bay Technology, who can charge this car from zero to 80% in just eight minutes. So will this be enough to convince the last bastion of ICE drivers to switch to this technology? Welcome to the world of extreme fast charging and welcome to Fully Charged. So in order to support this extreme fast charging, you obviously need the right charging piles and the technology behind it. But then the car also needs to support the extreme fast charging as well. And that's what they have done with the Aeon Plus, the, this model behind me. And it comes in two flavors. There's two different types of battery packs. So as you can see, I'm holding two different types of battery packs. One is a 6C, this one, and one is a 3C. Uh, they're both pouches instead of the more typical cells. Now, 3C, which is the one we're gonna to see today, is slightly slower, only very slightly. And that supports 522 amps, 414.4 volts, and on the charger we're gonna to see today is about 480 kilowatts. That charges from uh, zero to 80 in about 15 minutes and 30 to 80 in about 10 minutes. Now the 6C pack, which is under development and will be coming out in just a few months, that can support 558 amps, 769.6 volts. And that is the one which will take your car from zero to 80% in eight minutes and 30 to 80% in five minutes. It's an incredible technology and we're gonna show you just how fast it really is. Okay, so we're plugged in. We're gonna see how fast this actually charges. Now I've got my phone. This is how we charge in China, is just scanning a QR code with your phone and then it'll just kick off and start charging. Now, the weather today is not the most perfect conditions for charging. It's about 30 degrees, 85% humidity, best charging between 20 and 25 degrees. So all we have to do is scan a QR code like that. Click go. It's clicked and then we're going to look at how fast this is going to go. So it's going to take about 30 seconds to kind of warm up, get ready. Now the battery is currently at 29%. So we're at 29% charge. Fans are kicking in. So let me start the stopwatch to see how quick this actually is. Okay, ready? When it goes, I'll go. Here we go. So 29%, currently at 53, but that's gonna ramp up pretty quickly, 130 amps. That will go much higher in a minute. There we go, already at 300 amps, 124 kilowatts. Now, whilst we have a different charging system here in China, it's pretty much the same. It's just the connection's slightly different. However, for extreme fast charging, this has to be slightly different. Now. This is actually a liquid cord. So the charging head and the, the wire itself are liquid cord. So it keeps the temperature below 55 degrees. So in fact, this technology already exists. Most charging stations have these. It's a simple upgrade of plugging in more power, upgrading some of the cables and making sure the tech behind it is there and that the cars can also support it. So let's see how we're getting on with our fast charge. Okay, that is 10 minutes on the stopwatch. We have gone from 30% to 80% in that time, added hundreds of kilometers of range, and now it's gonna start slowing down the charging in order to protect the battery. Pretty normal on most chargers. But to go from 30 to 80% in 10 minutes is amazing. Now with the 6C technology, there you go, it's slowing down. It's gonna be half that time. I mean, even this 3C technology is very, very, very fast but with 6C technology, and they're really gonna ramp it up, it compares very favorably to ICE cars and filling up 
the petrol in them. So if we just take a minute and think about the implications of extreme fast charging, it's not just convenient for you and me, and we can charge our car very quickly, but think about the infrastructure. For example, a charging lot like this, and you can see behind me, we've got a solar roof, love a solar roof, and we've got three cars and perhaps three chargers behind us. Now, typically in a normal fast charging station, these might stay at the chargers for 30 minutes. So you can see uh, behind me, three spaces, six cars per hour. With extreme fast charging, it can do three times that. So maybe you only need one space to do the same amount of cars as the current charging network. So the infrastructure can become a lot smaller. It can be put into uh, smaller spaces like a petrol forecourt, which can be then converted and they can still see approximately the same number of customers per day. This is not just a revolution for you and me, but this is a revolution for everyone and the infrastructure. Now, whilst this technology is mind-blowing, I think there's few outside of China who will have heard of GAC, or Guangzhou Automobile Company. Um, and this is their, their why. Uh, this is their kind of smallest city car, and probably one of the best-looking small cars on the market today. It looks so fresh, so different. Um, I really love kind of the sharp, angular lines of it. And the price of this wonderful looking kind of mini SUV kind of practical car is from 105,000 RMB up to about 150,000 RMB. For that, you get between 400 and 600 kilometers of any DC range. Um, and that's with a 60, between a 60 and 80 kilowatt hour battery. So you're probably wondering, Elliot, isn't this fast char extreme fast charging so good? Yes, it is but won't it damage the battery? No, so this battery is guaranteed up to a million kilometers. That's quite a lot. And over 1,600 charging cycles, it only loses 5%. So battery degradation uh, is only 5% over a million miles, over 1,600 charging cycles. So the car's gonna fall apart before the battery, even if you extreme fast charge every single time. You know, this really advances that battery technology onto the next level. You know, with cars like this that you can charge within 10 minutes, within five minutes, all of those worries go out the window. This is what the future of EVs is gonna be like. So we're now sat in the Ion V, which is the more upmarket SUV. I've got luxury leather seats, uh, lots of gadgets and gizmos. But it's what's underneath the floor that's important. This comes with uh, a number of battery ranges, I think from 60 kilowatt hours to 80 kilowatt hours. I think this is about 71 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, and it comes with 701 kilometers of any DC range. Take that with a pinch of salt. Now we were talking with a young lady earlier, the, one of the battery engineers and she was telling us this has the 3C battery pack uh, and it's got CATL. Uh, it's partially developed with CATL, uh, which means that um, the tech is in place for that extreme charging. Now the 6C version, which is coming out in December this year, which will allow for those really ridiculous speeds, um, you know, eight minutes charging, will come within this car as well. And I was asking her, well, what's the, what's the future like after December, after 6C? What's it look like? Now, obviously she can't really tell me, but let's just say they're not gonna stop at 6C. So can you imagine a speed which is double that of 6C? So zero to four in four minutes, two minutes. It's definitely on the chart for GAC and the Greater Bay Area Technology Company. You know, the rate that this is going, the fact that they've done the 3C zero to 80% in 10 minutes, and they've already doubled it in a year, uh, stands well for the future when they're probably going to double it again in another year. Now, whilst there's about 733 petrol stations in Guangzhou, they service more or less 3 million cars per day. In comparison, there's about 2,300 chargers in Guangzhou, 
and they service around 300,000 EVs per day. So that at the moment, there's a bit of a disparity, but with super fast extreme charging, that could change a lot. To be able to offer safe, reliable charging is one thing. To be able to offer the infrastructure across a country is another. But to be able to extreme fast charge, that is a game changer. And GAC have done an amazing job at being one of the pioneers and they still hold the record of the world's fastest charging. But not for much longer. As we've seen, the competition is hot on their heels. And that's a good thing. We all need this extreme fast charging in order to transition more people from ICE cars into EVs. So that's all we've got time for today. I hope you've enjoyed this trip to Guangzhou to see GAC and the ION and the Greater Bay Technology Company. We have all of our lovely Patreon links, YouTube memberships around this video. And if you have been, thank you for watching.